Hey everyone, welcome back. For those of you new here, my name is Melody. And in today's video, I thought that I would just do a like a, a few days vlog or just bring you along with me for the week and we'll just see where it goes. Um, I don't have a lot going on, but today I am voting and I need to go and get something. Oh yes, I need to go get Yuki's Simparka. There she is. Look how big she's gotten. I need to get her flea heartworm tick medication. I need to pick that up at the vet. She is 32 pounds now. I just weighed her this morning. I'm gonna switch hands because I'm getting tired. And before I ramble on too much about boring things or, well, before I just ramble on too much, I do need to give you guys an update. I need to, first of all, I need to apologize. Um, I think the last video I did, I was asking for prayers for the MRAs and MRIs I was getting done on my head and neck. And um, I'll give you the full story later. Everything's fine. They didn't figure out what's going on with my buzzing ears. Um, but I did have a thyroid nodule I needed to get checked out. I needed a biopsy and all that. Everything's fine. I'm fine. But something happened. I felt, I was feeling, did I say I was going to give you the update later? Well, I guess here's the update now. I was just feeling so overwhelmed with everything because I had to worry about the cost of the biopsies, the cost of the MRIs, MRAs. You know, I was just worried about everything. And then, of course, worried about results and whatever. But now I'm fine. Everything's good. So I do have a lot of updates around the house for you, but I'll get into that later. Or maybe I'll share a few with you now because I have a, I'm pretty excited about this one. Well, first, here's little Miss Pixie. She is doing great. I can't tell you guys. Here, let me zoom out a little bit. There, that's a little better. I can't tell you how good she's been doing. So, she has had some x-rays on her chest since the uh, surgery. And I think that was, oh yeah, that was in March. And um, it was all clear. So, it, as of now, it looks as though the cancer hasn't spread. We're thinking, we're hoping we've gotten it all. And she does have her, I think I shared with you her little feeder. Let me show you. I do have the fan on. You guys, I'm already sweating. It's going to be 85 degrees today. She does have her little feeder, the microchip feeder. And I know that it was an investment and I'm so glad I did it. Like $200 is a lot of money. But I was concerned for Gidget's health, concerned for her health, because they were they were eating each other's food, and it was just oh, you can see I'm already sweating. It was just stressing me out, and uh, Pixie's kidney levels were just going higher and higher. So, ever since getting the feeder, my little Pixie has been eating just her food, and she's had so much energy. She's lost weight, which is good. She's lost weight. I don't know why, but Yuki is licking the lotion off my legs and it's driving me crazy. Yuki, please stop. She's lost some weight. And you guys, it's been, it's a miracle for us because she's had more energy. She's, she's jumping up on stuff. She's jumping down. She's feeling better and she's, she's more mobile. It's hard for me to explain. And, and, um, it's just a lot better. And now that Yuki's grown up a little bit more, the whole family is doing better. And I just, I just think I was overwhelmed with everything. But um, having Pixie being healthy was my main thing. So my thoughts on the feeder are, it's very expensive. But for my situation, I'm so glad I did it, you guys. I didn't want to spend the money on it, but I am so glad because kid, uh, kidney, Pixie's kidney levels, they haven't gotten any higher and they have lowered a little bit, not a lot. My doctor tells me that that's just not going to happen, you know, at her age and with everything happening with her. But I don't know. It's just, just knowing that she's eating what she's supposed to eat. Gidget's eating what she's supposed to eat. And Pixie is definitely, I'm seeing a big improvement in her. So for me and my family, the $200 on that feeder was so worth it. Now, what I'd love to do is I'd love to get a second feeder so I could put Gidget's food in, in that feeder for her because what's happening now is, now that Pixie's feeling healthier, she's jumping up higher and she can actually get to Gidget's food. But that's not a big deal. Gidget's actually pretty good. Um, she doesn't, 
she's okay with me just feeding her twice a day. So what I'll do is I'll feed her up on the desk and then I'll take it and put it away. I can't just leave it out like I used to now that Pixie can jump better. It's kind of funny. It's just such a small change in her weight can make such a difference. And I do think it's not just the weight. I think it's like she's getting the food to help her kidneys and having the cancer hopefully being gone. I'm sure it's all making her feel better. Now that Yuki's a little older, this is Gidget. So Gidget and Yuki do play and you guys, it's the cutest thing. Like, I can't explain it. I'll have to try to find some footage that I've captured. And for whatever reason, my dog right now is licking my leg. Okay, here she is. Look, she won't leave my legs alone. Look at how big she's gotten. Oh my goodness, she's such a pretty girl. Look at her. Hi. And we've got the whole family here. And every, you see, you guys, this is, this is everything I wanted. I just wanted harmony. Now, Pixie will sometimes still hiss at Yuki if she gets too close. But as you can see right now, she's okay. Okay, so I just asked my Alexa device what the humidity level was. And she said 81%. So I've got that to look forward to today. <laughs> All right, so I know this is weird, but I've already got the fan out or one of the fans because it's going to be a warm day. I think I am going to make tacos tonight. I'm going to be using this kit that I bought at Aldi just um, sometime last week, I think it was. I've got some hamburger meat defrosting. And I've already brought this little guy out. We haven't had mosquitoes. Um, Yuki's hitting the bell. Let me let her out. You need to go potty? Okay, let's go. Tacos tonight and this guy. I'm so glad I have these. So what happened was I I have an addiction to plants. So, oh, you can see one of those little gnats. Do you see them flying around those little gnat things? I, well, I'm not gonna say me, but my husband. See, there goes one there There now. My husband bought some plants from Lowe's, and this basil, which I need to water, had those little, those little gnats that get in the soil. It was infested. So that then, in turn, infested these guys. I put these beads on top of them. There's a moth outside. I put these beads on top of them from Ikea that I've I didn't buy them recently. I've already had them. Hoping that will keep them from laying eggs in the top soil, but it doesn't seem to be working. So we've done a few tricks. We've got, yeah, I need to switch this out. I, this, is gr <laughs> this is gross, I know, but we do like a little bit of soapy water and those bugs get attracted to the water and then they drown. So we have these throughout the house. And then I've been running this at night and I just cleaned out the... Uh, the, the sticky liner I cleaned that out today it was full so I'm just gonna keep this running and I see these bugs they just they just irritate me so much but um this has been helping a lot they're not it's not as bad as it was before I brought this guy out and I oh I did clean my sliding door today which is why this is here it's drying I'll just leave that for now I'm gonna finally get to the update that I wanted to tell you originally the cage is gone, the crate. So Yuki has been such a good girl at night. What we do do though is we do put her in the kitchen. And I have like, I have four of these. Cause I'm, let me tell you, when she was younger, I needed them. So what we'll do is we'll block off this area and then we'll block off over there and she can have the kitchen at night. And she doesn't seem to be as destructive as she was well, like about a month or two ago. So then, and actually this is a new rug because she did tear it up, but so far so good. I've had it about three weeks and she hasn't bothered it. So yeah, that's the update. I'm still using the Christmas blanket for her. <laughs> she likes to chew on these, those tonal, uh, like these toenails and things that you get. Oh, here, I have one. Stuff like this. She loves these. And, um, yeah, so I'm just so happy to have the, the cage out of my room. And I know that she was okay with the crate, but I wasn't. Like, um, it just didn't feel right putting her in it. And she had grown enough to where I felt like it was getting to be too small for her. So, yay, it's back in the garage where 
belongs. And she seems to be doing good when I do leave. And you know what, you guys, my hair is just gonna have to go up in a ponytail because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's actually the next day. I did a really bad job of vlogging yesterday. After I voted and picked up the medicine for Yuki, I just was feeling so drained. I know that sounds absolutely ridiculous. So I came home and made dinner and I have a confession. The tacos were terrible. So what happened was I used a can of Rotel and I didn't, I didn't realize it at the time, but that can of Rotel has been in my cupboard for at least two years. And the hamburger meat tasted very gross. It tasted like tin or like you could tell it tasted like a tin can or so um, we ended up getting takeout last night. I'm just going to admit it. It was just that bad and I was worried about us getting sick. However, tonight I am making a poor man stew. I'll show you guys that a little later. I've already started it in the crock pot, but I have some exciting news. Well, exciting news for me i lately i've been getting my nails done and it's just been like this is like the third time i've done it my birthday was in march i wanted to treat myself so i i did it a few times since then well it is a little expensive and the last time i went i asked for the magnetic gel and the ladies i don't know they struggled with it and i thought you know what why pay for it if i can try to do it at home so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, my hair's a mess. I've been, I've been running around doing chores all morning. I bought something on Amazon. I bought this kit from Amazon. I'm going to try and do my own gel nails. Now I don't want to have a manic, have them manicured or painted all the time, but when I do, it would be nice to be able to um, do it on my own. Now, the one thing I'm afraid of is removing the gel. And I was going to go in today and see if they could remove it for me. But I figured, you know what? I actually have acetone from Dollar Tree. And I bought these from Dollar Tree. And I have foil. I'm going to try and remove it myself. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to bring you guys along with me. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see just how bad that is. However, I can't wait to show you guys this. So I bought this from Amazon. It was $25. It's the Beatles brand. And I bought this one specifically because, well, I it has a bag. I have to confess something to you. This came this morning. I wanted to film an unboxing, but I was so excited. I did not wait for you guys. I'm so sorry about that. And I've already played a little bit. So I bought a kit that has the well, okay, this was separately. These came separately. I bought this for like $5. It comes with 50 of these and then a ring, a ring. And I actually have put, I put, I was so excited. I put some together already on the ring. I painted some. But let me just show with the, show you the kit. So the Beatles kit came with this bag. It comes with this tool here. It has two top coats. Oh no, it has a base coat, two top coats. So you have glossy and matte, and then it comes with this cuticle oil, cuticle oil here. And then underneath, in this little bag here, it has all the tools you'll need. Here are the tools. So it comes with this nail file. It says it's a professional washable nail file. Comes with these little um, separators here. It also comes with this. What is this? This is a professional sponge, file sponge. 
clippers. I think this is like a, um, a tool that you use for decorating. Is that a brush at the end? Yes, that's a very fine, fine brush at the end. This is a dusting brush. Then it comes with this here, this tool here. I honestly really don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm hopeful that I can figure it out with a few YouTube videos. And then it comes with this here. It's like some, gl not glitter, well, some little sparkly and fun things to decorate your nails with. And the main reason why I bought this kit was because it comes with these gloves that you can put on your hands to protect you from the UV lamp, which it also comes with a UV lamp as well. It does plug in. So it does come with 12 nail polishes. And if you'd like, I can link it below or link it in the description box if you are interested. However, I, I've not really used it yet, so I can't really tell you whether I think it's good or bad. I do think it's a good deal and it's a decent price for something that I want to try and start to do. It comes with everything I need. And if I were to, to have bought these items separately, it would have cost me more, which is why I went with it. Oh, I forgot to show you this. It comes with this. Now, these nail polishes are very small, which is actually, it's okay with me only because, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to want to keep these colors or like these colors. And then it comes with this thing here that you can put on the top of the nail polish bottle or the handle. So it'll make it a little easier for you to use. Oops. All right. Okay, so when I got the kit, I was so excited. I just started playing. So here's my little color wheel or or I don't know what they call these, but I'm going to call it my color wheel. And for $5, I, I was able to buy separately 50 of these along with this ring here. And it came with these numbers. Oh, here we go. It came with these numbers so you can you can number the nail and then you can number your bottle and I've already done that with this kit here and I really you know I had so much fun I did mess it up a little bit in a few areas on some of these like this one here you can you see the dimpling in that I think I just layered it too thick there we go. That's a little bit better. My desk is a nightmare right now. <laughs> and it's so cluttered. I don't want to put any nails on today. I just want to take polish off and give my nails a little breather before I add any more on. Oh, do you see these here? These last ones back here. These are the matte colors. Well, not matte colors, but I used the, I used the matte top coat. Isn't that neat? And then these here are just the plain and glossy. So now I'm going to try and take this off. Wish me luck. <laughs> Look at this little kitty. Oh, she moved. She was just so cute the way she was sleeping. Hi, happy girl. Hi. And this little girl, she needs a bath. Yes, you do. Look at that. All right, enough of that. Oh, I want to share with you guys... I got this at Marshall's for $30. Isn't that nice? I'm just using, well, to be honest with you guys, I'm using the old cat bowls. It was a set I had bought at Pottery Barn. I need to clean that. It was a set I bought at Pottery Barn, but they were too nice to not keep using, so I'm just using the bowls. All right, here's what we're having for dinner. It's, I found the recipe on Pinterest, which I will show you that recipe. And I'm supposed to have the hamburger in there already, but I don't because it's still frozen. So I'm just defrosting it here on the counter. So, and I've got this in here. It's potatoes, onions, carrots, tomato paste, and a bunch of seasonings. And update on this since yesterday. There was one pot, which is actually out there right now, that pot there, 
that one I think is that one had the most bugs in it so and that one was a pot that had it's like a two pot set and at the bot on the bottom pot you keep water in it and I think that was the main reason for all the bug infestation now this one here was infested but I as you can see let's see you probably can't there we go I have put some paper towels over it and I don't see as many bugs coming from there anymore and uh, you know as I was kind of touching oh there goes one out of there Ugh. so what I've been doing is when I see them like that I'll grab my vacuum and I suck them up real quick and there was a bunch of them in the window sill this morning or in the window this morning I sucked them all up and I brought out my other lamp that seems a little bit brighter during the day and I'm hoping this will catch more bugs and I did yes I do need to paint my window sill hopefully that'll be coming up in another video soon I did replace or clean out the I'm gonna suck you up you little bug and I did um, replace the soap the soapy water and then I'll just tap it like that and anytime I see bugs coming out I try to suck them up so there's not quite as many as there was yesterday because I just sucked a bunch of them up with my Dyson. All right, let's get my nails done. I do have my mop. Where is it? Oh, it's under there somewhere mopping. So I can bring these down. This is a silicone mat that I bought from Amazon. I was going to use it for Yuki's um, feeding area over here, over there, but it was just, it stuck out too much and we were tripping over it. So I did decide to keep it because I knew it would come in handy for crafts and other projects. And I'm glad I did because it's so cute. I have another one of these where I feed the cats and um, I just wanted them to match. I know it sounds silly, but that didn't work out, but I can still use it. Do you need to go potty? She doesn't know it yet, but she's getting a bath later. <laughs> I've just noticed on the back of this, it actually tells you how to remove it. to just keep everything in the box for now along with some other items that I had already had that I used for my nails and I'm going to place this in here I do need another one of these um it's like a four-sided buffer this one's pretty old I think I'm gonna have to order some or buy some from Sally Beauty Supply or maybe even Target and I have decided I'm not sure if this bag is really going to be the best I actually like how the nail polish, I like the fact that they're in these plastic containers and it just seems to keep it more organized than if I were to take them out. I These might fit in the bag, but since they do fit in here, everything just seems to fit perfectly, you know, with the UV, the curing thing and then everything. <sighs> That's funny. So I'm just going to set everything in here for now. I am now going to bathe Yuki, and I was going to show you what I do. I actually found this at Dollar Tree, and this has been such a such a blessing when washing her. It's made it a little easier. So what I do is I put the soap, I put the soap in here, and then I just kind of bathe her with this. I, I can scrub the soap in and get her clean. That light is really wonky. There we go. That's a little better. So I'm, I use this, and then I've bought this. This is a towel I bought from Marshalls, yes. And it's actually, it was specifically made for dogs or marketed for dogs. And it says here, Happy Tails. 
and it's a pretty it's a pretty good size too works pretty good and then for the you guys are going to think I'm crazy but that's okay so for the bottom of the tub I take this old workout mat that I've had I mean I think I've had this since 2004 so I line the tub just so I can protect it from her nails and um, it seems to work and it dries pretty quickly so I'm going to go ahead and Get her in the bathtub. I'm not going to film it because she hates it and she gets really crazy. So let me get that done. I'll probably show you some footage of me drying her. All right, we are all done. I have to tell you, this towel really does work pretty good. I've got her as dry as I can. It's not cold out. It's 85 degrees today. So I think she'll be fine. She's just... She's still looking for treats because I coaxed her in the tub with treats. What are you doing? Hi. Okay, I'm all cut up. I've got the nails done. I've got Yuki clean. And I next thing I want to do is I want to go to Hallmark. They have um, their wish list book is out. And I know a lot of people are like, what? And I have a ton of ornaments, but Hallmark has a three year series. Well, let me show you. All right, here we go. In the dream book this year. So last year they had, oh, here it is. Last year they had for the um, Haunted Mansion series, it's a, it says here it's a three, yeah, a three year series. So they had, so last year they had these three ornaments here. I was able to get those. I did get this, but this year they have these three. And what I've done is I've marked off those ornaments on my wish list. So hopefully I have a better chance of getting the three. So I have the, Okay, they have the murderous, the murderous bride, the caretaker and his dog. I'm pretty excited about the caretaker and his dog. It's one of my favorite things to see every time. And then the singing headstones. And I have no idea what they're doing next year, but I know one year they had, one year they had the hitchhiking ghosts, but it wasn't meant to be like, it wasn't used with their magic cord series. Does that make sense? Like these guys just play on their own. And I actually, this is one of my favorites. This was kind of hard to get. My husband had to call around to different hallmarks, but I'm hoping next year they'll get these guys and we'll get to see them at the end. So at the end of the ride, these, these guys are at the end obviously because the last it's the end of the ride but they're at the end there and i'm hoping that they bring them back because with the magic cord it basically it's playing the whole ride well at least it seems like it is it's playing a big part of the ride because each each ornament plays a different part in it and then this part ha this this here has a part in it it's pretty cool and i have to say it's my favorite ride it's actually my favorite ride at disney i just I don't know, even as a child, it was just my favorite. <laughs> so, love the uh, Haunted Mansion series. Excited to get that. Hopefully, I'll be able to get those three pieces this year, complete my collection, and I can't wait to see what they have next year. So, with that being said, that's all I'm doing. I know, it's ridiculous. I was going to go pick up cat litter, but I decided I was going to order it from Chewy, and I was able to find out that I can get Pixie's cat food from Chewy as well. So I'm going to get some of that delivered too, because I'll be honest with you, it's a bit of a pain in the butt having to go to the vet every time. So it's kind of nice. And I think from here on, well, once I get Yuki's weight settled, because we're not sure how much more weight she's going to gain, we can get her some Parka Trio from the Chewy website as well. That would be really nice. Hi, pretty girl. Hi, sweetheart.
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just drop that off. I want to get that in as early as possible. This here, I, sh I think I'll, I'll just mention this before I go real quick. Last year, I bought some items off of Timu, and they were um, they're like little Sanrio building blocks. I got the whole, oh, here, it's actually on the back. I actually got these three, this one, this one, and then this one, and I was un unable to get a hold of this one. Well, I went into the store, it's called Tesso Life, and I was able to find this, and it cost me $19.99, so $20, and I grabbed it. So once I get this built, I'm going to bring out my little Sanrio Village again and put it up here like I did last year with my pastel lights. Here they are. I bought these from Hobby Lobby last year. Oops, there we go. And I'll have my little, I can have my village out again. All right, I've got the area ready for her. I don't always put her in the kitchen, but I think I'm gonna do it today. She's been a little rowdy this afternoon. I think it's the bath. So if she decides to choose something, hopefully it will be a toy. And um, I do have a little secret to, tell, to share with you guys. <laughs> so um, there were a few times I had left her in the living room alone. This was maybe, well, this was actually just last month. And um, look what she did to my ottoman. Yeah, she did that, but wait, there's more. She also got this side. <laughs> so I just kind of cover it with my blanket. <laughs> and I've decided I'm not going to worry about replacing it until maybe after she's fully grown and she's stopped her chewing. She's still teething. I had recorded a video where I showed, where is it? Oh, here we go. I had recorded a video. I did not edit it, but here's one tooth. And then another little, little, little baby tooth. Look at how little that is. Yeah, you are so little. So yeah, she is teething. Well, I think she's, I think, I'm thinking she's lost all her teeth, but you know, they're still coming in. So. We have plenty of toys for her. Another reason I want her in here is because I do want to run the Roomba. Because I tell you, I already ran it this morning, but she just, she sheds a lot. And it's, it's actually surprises me a little more. I didn't think she'd, she'd shed as much as she does with her hair being so short, but she does. So I do have some things picked up so Roomba can get this area. Oh, here's a toenail. Oh, yeah. let me pick up the toenail. All right, I'm back from Hallmark and I found something I'm gonna show you. I could not resist this. It's something I've actually been wanting for a while. I've been looking for a really pretty shawl or pashmina and I found it. Let me get the light on. I thought this would be perfect for church. I'm always needing something in the summer just to cover my shoulders. I like to go in. I like to go into church with something covering my shoulders. I don't like going in with bare shoulders. It's just my preference. And I thought that this was just so perfect. And it's just beautiful. This was $15. 
that was all I picked up. I actually had no plans to pick anything up, but when I saw it, I I grabbed it. I, like I said, I've been keeping my eye out for one, and this is perfect. I love the design. So I guess I should show you how I feed her. So first thing, this is something I have to mail to a family member. So first thing is, I do like to warm up some water. Yeah, I've got some there. I do like to warm up some water because I do feed her this. I feed her some of this fresh pet. I wanted to go with farmer's dog, but it was just so expensive. I couldn't afford it. So I do feed her this. I'm hoping this is better quality than um, just feeding her like the blue buffalo. And then I do one pump of this Omega. Like I'll pump it in here. And then this kibble here, I forget what brand this is. I think it's called Holistic. It's something I get off of Chewy. I think it's called Holistic. And I bought it because it looked like it was a better quality than some of the other stuff. So I give her a little bit of this, a slice of this, which I already have it prepped and ready. So I have to see that I'll finish off the last tube and then good girl. <laughs> oh, did you see her dodge my little, are you dodging my love? Yes. Okay. So I'll give her one of these. I don't really measure right now because she's still a puppy and she's growing. This might be too much, but we'll leave it. And then I mash it. And then I use the hot water over here just to warm it up a bit. I have to hurry, my husband's called me. He says he is coming home. So I need to hurry to finish dinner. I just kind of mash it a little bit more. I'm gonna let that sit a minute and let it cool. Hey guys, it's the next day. It's actually May 1st. It's Wednesday and I need to get to Dollar Tree. Well, I don't need to, but I want to go to Dollar Tree. I'd like to see if they have anything new or exciting. And I do want to film a shop with me. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. And 
lost I lost my train of thought there and I I would like to also go to Costco I need to get some gas I get I usually get that at Costco and I need to go pick up some more chocolate milk for my husband so I'm gonna go do that and then on the way back on the way back from Costco on my way home I'm gonna stop at Sam's because I'm running low on my hamburger that I keep in my deep freeze and I have none in my freezer in the house so I'd like to go see if they have anything marked down so I can stock up again and I do need to give you guys an update on the mail you guys I think I have to stop I have to stop going to Pinterest for recipes everyone always says how delicious they are and then I try them I just think my tastes are different it was okay it wasn't bad it's just I didn't think it was delicious it was just okay my husband thought it might taste better if I had added more like um, some cayenne or chili pepper it just had no no spice to it so we, yeah unfortunately there's so much left over we're gonna have to have that for dinner tonight <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing I'm so spoiled I'm actually blessed that I actually have food to eat but um, yeah, my tastes have kind of changed the older I get. I do like spicier food. There was a time when I couldn't stand it, but now it, I, I prefer it. So uh, I guess I need to, I think I just need to uh, get more, I need to find some more creative recipes. Or actually, I, I honestly prefer the simpler recipes, you know, stuff that you can air fry, a simple meal with just like some grilled veggies and like some sausages. I like that, that's pretty tasty. All right, I'm rambling on. Let's get going. I've got a lot of errands to do today. Well, I don't think I told you, but it is actually afternoon. I made it into Dollar Tree. It's actually very crowded. And I actually got lucky and found a quiet aisle. Um, they do have these tricks treat bar for dogs. It does say it's baked in the USA. And then they also have this buddy finger. Unfortunately, it's so busy in this store. I don't think I'll do a shop with me, but I just thought I'd show you guys just a few items that I am seeing in this location. I actually came in looking for a makeup sharpener, you know, the like a pencil sharpener, but for your makeup, and they didn't have it. So now I'm gonna go over to the school section, but I'm not sure I wanna do that because if I find what I'm looking for, I'll have to wait in that really long line. <laughs> They still have a bunch of the bleach tablets. What's this? LA's Totally Awesome Oxy Ultra Deluxe Island Fresh. Wow, that's huge. I'm back from running around and I thought I'd show you the few items I did get. I didn't pick up a lot, but 
but first someone wants in. Come on in, baby girl. She's so cute. All right, got my ring light, so maybe we can get a little bit better lighting here. I'm gonna start with Costco. So from Costco, I did get her a bag of this Fresh Pet food. I like to switch it up between the bags and the tubes. I did get our favorite chocolate milk here. And I did find these toys for her, I for my dog. I think that these are going to be great for her outdoor outdoor toys. Um, she has a lot of toys, and but most of them are meant for indoors. I do have a few frisbees I picked up at Dollar Tree. Here they are. So I have a plastic one, and this one was not bought at Dollar Tree. This was bought at Amazon for four dollars and forty four cents. But as you can see, she's chewed this up. And these also have seen better days. I actually have two or three more. Look at the mess it's making on my kitchen table. I have two or three more of these, but um, they don't last very long. So I thought these would be fun. It's got like a, this looks like a mini football to me, a stick. I don't know how much she's going to like or how well she's going to like this, but I know this here she's probably going to love, and it seems pretty sturdy. So we'll... I think I paid 13, it was just under, okay, it was just under 14, it was just under, I'm done, Yuki, Yuki, can I finish my sentence? Let me finish my sentence, sit, Yuki, sit, good girl, Yuki, stay, stay, good girl, so I think, as I was, I forgot my train of thought, but I'm thinking this will last a little longer than those other Frisbees. She's being a good girl right now. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. All right. From Sam's, I did find these hamburger patties. I missed out on the hamburger meat this week, but that's okay. I did get these for $12.38. It's actually, I think I mentioned it is May 1st. So I'm going to vacuum seal these. I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to vacuum seal these and put them, put them in the deep freeze right away. Okay, and I also grabbed these. I could not pass these up. So there are, four, there are 450 in here, and I think I paid around $8.50 for all of these. That is not a bad price. And actually, my husband, for whatever reason, this is the brand he likes. So I grabbed those. And I grab this dish liquid. This one actually squeaks. You want that? Hmm? So yesterday, after trying to remove the gel from my nails, I realized it was a little a little more difficult than I thought. So I found this nail polish gel remover on Amazon. I believe I spent $10. It came with another one of these little, um, well, one of these tools. It also came with this buffer or, well, it's got like seven or eight steps on it. So it came with that, it's around $10. Basically, you just, you brush it on and you leave it on for 10 minutes and then it starts to bubble and then you take it and then you can start scraping it off with this. So I figured, well, I'll tr I've tried the acetone, so now I'll try this and I'll see which one I think is going to work better for me. I, I bought more nail polish. <laughs> I think I paid around ten dollars for this and it's for six nail polishes here are the colors aren't those pretty oops they're a little bigger than the ones I got in my beginner kit let me see if I can show you 
yes, these are 5 mLs, where these here are 7.5 mLs. I got six colors for, I think it was, yeah, I, I do think it was around $10. So now I think what I want to do is I want to create more, I want to go ahead and create more of these using these colors here. Guys, it's actually been a few days. I did not vlog on Thursday or Friday. I decided to take a couple of days off. I really had nothing going on, nothing to report. So I thought I would go ahead and just pick up the camera today. It's actually Saturday, May 4th. No, wait. Yeah, May 4th. And um, my husband and I are going to go running around. His birthday is tomorrow. So every year this time of year, they have, they usually have free comic book day and that happens to be the first Saturday of every May. And it also happens to be May 4th for Star Wars day. So a lot of extra fun for him. He's pretty excited. He loves getting the free comics. I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. We're gonna also have lunch today. And I thought we'd just hang out together. I don't have anything much going on other than that. So hopefully you'll enjoy coming along with us. So I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna change my clothes. I'm just kind of hanging out in some comfy clothes. The girls are, the girls are kind of, well, y Yuki's wanting to play with, get, okay, it's enough. Yuki wants to play with Gidget. <laughs> I'm bad at this, but um, Gidget's not having it. She says it's nap time. So I'd better get ready because my husband is anxious to go and I will catch up with you guys later. Thank you. <laughs> 